Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex, and today I want to show you how to pass all your WhatsApp chat history from an Android device to an iPhone device. Right now, the only way you can do this transfer is by using a software. And today I'm gonna use this software called Mobile Trans by Wondershare. And Wondershare was kind enough to provide me with a copy of this software so I can do this tutorial. Let's check this software, what we can do with this software. With mobile trans, you can easily transfer up to 18 kinds of data, including contacts, photos, messages, apps, music, notes, books, and more. By supporting as many devices as possible, mobile trans can move your WhatsApp data between different phones, whether they run on Android or iOS. It works perfectly with every major mobile brand, including Apple, Samsung, LG, Motorola, and more. We can move our chat history from an Android to an iPhone or from an iPhone to an Android or between two Androids or between two iPhones, there's no problem. So this is the interface, right? Mobile trans offer you different stuff like phone transfer, backup or restore. But in this case, we just want WhatsApp transfer. So click here. This software allows you to move all your chat history, not only from WhatsApp, but also from WhatsApp Business, Line, Viber, Kick, WeChat. So if you have any of these apps, you can also move your chat history between devices, you know? In order to do this tutorial, we're gonna start with transfer WhatsApp messages. So click here. And this is the main interface where you're gonna have a source on the left and a destination on the right. Our source is gonna be a Redmi device, Redmi 9, and the destination is gonna be an iPhone 7. I just wanted to show you really quick that I do have chats here with different videos, messages, pictures, audio messages. Our goal is to move all this chat history from the Android to the iPhone. Really quick, guys, I want to show you that my backup, it's only 71 megabytes, but yours is gonna be probably gigs. I seen 10, 20, 30, 50 gigs of data that people want to transfer. My recommendation is that before starting this transfer, try to delete all these files that you don't need on WhatsApp, maybe the videos or all these groups that you are in, that they send you a lot of stuff that you pretty much much don't need so try to go through your whatsapp history delete the stuff that you don't need then do a backup and try to make it as small as possible you know other than that let's start this how can we start we need to connect both devices to the computer and we're going to use the original cables so let's start with the android let's see what happened Okay, you see that immediately the phone is charging. But look at this. And this is another thing that is gonna happen through this video. You're gonna see messages regarding your phone. So you need to pay attention to the messages and also what you're doing on your phone. So in this case, it's a USB 4, no data transfer. I want you to select file transfer Android Auto. And now let's read this. It says, please follow the steps to enable USB debugging. So in this case, I have a Redmi phone and they're telling me what to do in order to enable USB debugging. Okay, this is another thing. USB connection can transfer files to the connected computer. Try troubleshooting. I'm just gonna say don't show again and got it. That's fine. I'm using a MacBook, by the way, a MacBook Air. All right, guys, so we need to enable, first of all, developer options and then USB debugging. So how can we enable developer options on an Android device on this Redmi 9? It's pretty simple. You're gonna go to settings. From here, you're gonna go to about the phone. And here, you're gonna tap seven times the MIUI version. Okay, so I think I'm done, right? Yeah, to step below, you are now a developer. So that's what you want to see. Then you're gonna go back and you're gonna search for DEV. DEV and the first result is gonna be developer options. So click there. And here we're gonna look for USB debugging, okay? Here is USB debugging. They're gonna say danger, you know, USB debugging is highly sensitive, but that's okay. You're gonna say, I'm aware of the possible risk Click there, and you're gonna click OK. So now we are good. Uh, look at this, allow USB debugging, always from this computer. Make sure that this is check, always from this computer, allow USB debugging, OK. Look at this, install via USB, and we need to sign into our Mi account so we can install some software. So what they're saying is that we need to go to developer options and we need to click on install via USB. So click here, install via USB, turn it on, in order to do this, you need to sign into your Mi account. I'm gonna sign in and I already have a, an account using my Gmail. So I'm gonna agree to the terms. I'm gonna use my Gmail. Welcome back to my Mi account and you're signed. So I'm gonna click next and I'm good, I think, right? So I'm gonna go back to the uh, developer settings and I'm gonna look for install via USB. Enable this. 
And look at this, it says allowing, install via USB. Remember my choice and you're gonna click install. And it says, choose what to allow connector to access. We're gonna select everything, I'm gonna click continue. And then connector, do not click on check for update, just click okay. Okay, continue. And you can see that finally the software recognized the Xiaomi M204 J19C, which is the Redmi 9. And now we're gonna connect the iPhone. So let's see what happened with the iPhone. We're gonna connect it using the original cable to the computer. And look at this. It says, trust this computer, trust. And now we have the source, which is the Android, and we have the destination, which is the iPhone. So let's click on start and let's see what happened now. It says, please confirm whether to keep existing WhatsApp data on the iPhone. Okay, I'm gonna choose no, and then I'm gonna click next. The next step is we're gonna go to the three dots and we're gonna go to settings. And here on the chats, make sure that the chat backup on the Google Drive, and right now it says daily, but make sure it says never, okay? Once you click never, then click backup. So the phone is gonna do a backup on the device itself and not on Google Drive, okay? So now we did that, now we click next. Check the app and backup data. Look, the new software is being installed on the Android device. Install via USB, remember my choice, and click install. S install WhatsApp on a specific version, so 100%. Now we have the new WhatsApp, and look at this. To restore, so again, guys, you need to go back and forth. You need to see the screen and what's happening on the phone. Please complete the settings on your Android phone as follows, by enabling the access to storage space. Click next after confirm it. So you have to go to WhatsApp. Okay, WhatsApp. So you click WhatsApp, permissions, app permissions and make sure that storage is allowed. So if you click on files and media, it says don't allow, and I'm gonna say allowed, click allow management of all files. So once we click here, we're gonna click next. And now it says activate the app and restore backup. And look, look at this. Now you have to see this. Please follow the instructions below to operate your Android phone. Basically what's happening guys is since we install a different version of the, of the app, we need to confirm it again, okay? So we need to put our phone number, and in this case, uh, I'm gonna click agree and continue. I'm in Peru right now, my phone is 991-023-020, and then I'm gonna click next. Make sure that the phone is correct, guys, because I make mistakes before, all right? Okay, now we're gonna click continue, allow WhatsApp to send messages, allow, and we're gonna get a message. What happened here? It says, uh, look, I already got the message and it got verified automatically. Now, backup found, it says backup found and click restore. Very important, click restore. Okay, 70 messages restored, it. click next. Now you're gonna put Alex here. Ah, okay, so we have to configure the phone really quick. Alex, next. Now it's initializing and I have all my stuff here. If you don't see the, the names, that's okay. That's okay, but I'm gonna click next. And now look at this. Activate the app and restore backup. Right here, backup to computer. Please log in with any WhatsApp account on the target device. So the target device is this one. Very important, guys. It says, please log in to WhatsApp. And it says, login successful, continue. Only click this once you are successfully logging into this account. So open WhatsApp. They're gonna ask you for your number. And the phone number is 991-023-020. Okay, I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna confirm the number, make sure it's the, it's the correct number. Again, guys, click yes. Now it's gonna verify what's up. You recently connected. Please start again in 12 hours and 58 minutes. I'm gonna click okay, but it's giving me the option to call in 15 seconds. So I'm gonna wait that 15 seconds and I'm gonna make a call. The uh, SIM card is still on the Android. So I'm gonna get the call on the Android device, okay? So let's check that out. Call me. I'm supposed to get the call on the Android device because my SIM card is still there. Right there, I'm gonna answer it. And they're going to give me the code. 544712. Your verification code is. That's it. I'm done with this phone. Now I verify it. Now that I do this, look at this. Login successfully continue. This is very important. Now I'm going to click here. Boom. And let's see what happened. It says restore. Look, restore in progress. The phone restored completely. Now we're gonna wait on the iPhone. The iPhone is gonna restart and we are supposed to see all the chat history from the Android device now on the iPhone. 
So a lot of people want this because they just bought the new iPhone 13, 13 Pro, 13 mini, 13 Pro Max, whatever they have, they just bought a new iOS device and they used to have uh, an Android device like this one. And now they want to move to the new device, but they don't want to lose the chat history. Okay, so it looks like it finished. Let's open it. That's what's up. We're gonna open it and we're gonna see what happened. What's up would like to access your contacts? Okay, gonna skip this one. Skip restore. Gonna click Alex. And I have all my chat history right here. So look at that. I skipped the iCloud restore, but I keep all these chats available. Now, a lot of people are gonna tell me, um, and that's beautiful, guys. So finally, I was able to do this with the program Mobile Trans. It was not that easy. If you're missing, let's say this one, right? The contact number is lost. On this case, you need to actually go to uh, Mail. You're gonna go to Mail here. Here, Mail, and you're gonna add an account. Add an account, and you're gonna add your Google account, the same Google account you use on your Android device. So that way, you're gonna have all your contacts back on the iPhone, okay? Do that. It was 100% successful, and I was able to move all my contacts, my videos, my audio. What is this? More videos, pictures, you know? Click on it, make sure that you have everything. Audio files. So what happened with my SIM? Now, if you want to use your iPhone, your new iPhone, just move the SIM from here to here, and you're gonna be able to make phone calls and stuff like that, no problem, but only when you finish. Now, a lot of people are gonna ask me, what happened with this WhatsApp? If you try to open it, look what's gonna happen. Your phone is not longer registered because I already moved it here, right? And that's it, guys. I mean, you're still gonna have all your information on the Android device, but now you have your WhatsApp chat history that you wanted not to lose it, now you have it on your new iPhone device. Again, guys, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can download this software. It's not free. You need to pay. Check the license that you need. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is your friend Alex. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Really important. You help me in that way. Bye-bye.